Hey everyone, this is Eric Stanio from MarketplaceEarth.com. I'm a former student of Gene's Residential Assisted Living Classes, and I'm sure you are too if you're watching this. And what I wanted to do today was go ahead and make a video and talk about how are we gonna actually fill those beds of your residential assisted living home. And let's talk about the marketing, how we're gonna get it done, and we're gonna show you some case studies, and I'm gonna show you how I've taken one of Gene's students to the first page of Google, how we're getting excellent results, and uh, we'll show you a few other case studies. Um, just real quick before we dive in, here's a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a real estate investor from Cincinnati, but my, my primary vocation is internet marketing. I've been doing that since 2007. I love working with startups. I love working with new ideas because my strengths allow me to kind of see the big picture, but also execute on practical steps. So I, I worked for a startup here locally and helped grow their user base from 15 people to over 200,000 in a little under two years. Uh, some of you may know Russell Gray and Robert Helms from the real estate guys radio.com. I had a great opportunity to work with them in uh, 2015 and help with their online marketing. And from them, I met Gene and I got into this world of assisted living and I kind of fell in love with it. And so I've had a number of clients now and kind of um, getting some experience with helping particularly uh, owners of residential assisted living homes. Um, and even alongside of them, I worked with another startup who went through 500 startups in Silicon Valley, Chefs for Seniors. So I've kind of been in this senior living space for the last uh, year and a half or so. And I am uh, I went through Gene's class in August of 2015, loved it. So I'm pursuing assisted living in my home and partnership here in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky area. And uh, my value is I love bringing growth to companies. So especially if you're, you're a new company, that's kind of Marketplace Earth. We're all about bringing a marketing strategy that brings growth uh, to your online presence. So in this video, just a quick overview, what I wanna talk about uh, through Gene's class, we talked a little bit about offline marketing. I'm gonna go over that really briefly because what I wanna focus in on is your online marketing strategies and look at some of your top 10 online tools. Um, We'll go over that really briefly. I could make a video over each one, but we won't. And then more importantly, I wanna do some case studies with you and show you the success we're seeing with clients already, um, how we got one of Gene's students who's just opening up their, um, their residential assisted living home on the first page of Google in only a little over six plus months. And I'm really excited about that and how that's gonna pay off in terms of low cost leads uh, in the long run, show you how uh, we're getting their traffic is just kind of going up month over month. So let's jump right in. Um, you know, if you went through Gene's class, he talks about, okay, you get the home, there's there's lots of things to think about, but what we're talking about here is how do we actually get your residents uh, to fill the home? So if you're not buying an existing business, you gotta think about how am I gonna fill these beds the sooner the, sooner the better. From an offline marketing standpoint, you're talking about open houses and maybe you're inviting in people who work at hospitals or, or rehab centers or even placing agents. Um, you're inviting them in to see the house. You're putting up signs in the front yard. Maybe you're making uh, flyers and business cards and posting them around town. Uh, you're working on your referral strategy. Some of that might have some crossover to online marketing, but most of that is kind of offline. So I'm not gonna spend too much time. That's probably gonna be you or if you're hiring management or an administrator, if you're out of town away from your home, um, they might be handling that. What I wanna talk about and focus in on is your online marketing tools. So um, the goal here is kind of creating a custom cost-effective strategy that's right for you. I've had clients who took over another business and it had one strategy and I've had clients who are starting from scratch and that's a different strategy. Um, but at the bare minimum, you know, if we look at this as a top 10, and there are, there are other things we can look at, but number one, if you're starting at home, you've got to have your own branding, right? And you've got to have a website. These are just the basic, basic, basics when we're talking about online marketing tools. Uh, something that you can point people to, something that uh, shows trust and professionalism right off the bat. So that's, if you wanted to work with us, that might be a, a you know, a step one on how you might on how you might work with us. Now, other online marketing tools, one, it's not necessarily us, but should definitely be considered are placing agencies. Um, if you look at Gene's, um, when I went through the class, Gene gave us kind of a pro forma, and he had basically about $4,000 per each resident in his marketing strategy that came essentially from these placing agencies. And how this works is basically they get a bunch of leads, and if they place a resident in your home, you pay them usually 
one month's rent or maybe a little bit over that to get started with them. So they're, they're pretty expensive. We're going to come back to the top 10 in just a second. Um, they're pretty expensive, but they're also pretty reliable. And so if you're, you got to get the beds filled, you just opened up, you should definitely consider, I think, placing agencies. Um, so it might be $5,000 plus per resident. I, I think of this more of as a hunting strategy because it's kind of a one-off. And then what I bring to the table, and as I went sat through Gene's class as an online marketer, I thought, man, if you're paying that much money just for one resident one time, um, wouldn't it make sense to invest in an online marketing strategy that would bring in long-term leads for less? So you can maybe, who knows, cut down per resident by half or even more. And I was thinking of a more of a farming strategy. So when you think about that, um, and this is kind of the world I've lived in for the last 10 years, now I want to think particularly about local SEO, um, national SEO or traditional SEO. I'll, I'll walk you through in the case studies what I mean by the differences between those two and why you might want to go through each one differently. Video, uh, I helped one of our clients, um, I'll show you that as well, with a, with a video which helps bring tremendous brand value, trust, stickiness to your website, and helps, um, you know, basically your conversions to getting people to tour your home, your social media strategy, uh, Google AdWords or Facebook ads, um, you know, paid advertising, how do you get reviews and how will those help you in your long term? And lastly, analytics, how are you actually monitoring? Is your traffic going up? Is, uh, is our particular uh, search or traffic channels bringing in more leads than others? And what, what kind of ROI are you getting on your investment, whether it's AdWords or social or SEO or referrals or whatever it is. So that's kind of the top 10. Um, and now <laughs> I could dig it, I could, and I may go do this. I might make a video for each one of these um, on our YouTube channel. I, Cause I could, I could talk to you for hours <laughs> about how Google, their search engine works. Um, really quickly, I just wanna say, Google's gone through a big shift over the years. And the number one thing that, you know, if you, want, if you want to think about anything on how to use Google for your benefit, you need to think about how do I build a brand? Because Google has gone from, you know, ranking those websites that have either the most links or, or whatever, and they have all these factors in the algorithm, but the thing they've kind of boiled it down to recently is, are you a good brand? Are you a real business that we can trust? Do we see online signals? Do we see offline activity that might lead to online, online signals, like uh, reviews, like social media sharing, those kinds of things? Do we see great content coming out? Do we see consistency from you? So I, I could go on and on. You know, a great, great example of this is Brookdale.com. Now they're a big chain, and in terms of residential assisted living, they're they're kind of a competitor. But in terms of their online marketing strategy, they're just knocking it out of the park. All of their locations across the nation, because they've got a really, really smart online strategy, and they've got a really strong brand. Um, so I, I might, like I said, do another video of that later, but I just want to give you a quick overview of that. So now let's jump into some of these case studies. These are four websites that we at Marketplace Earth have helped. AdagioGardens.com is actually uh, Gene's location. We helped build his uh, kind of a simple brochure website for him. Uh, AdagioSeniorHomes.com is a client out of uh, San Juan Capistrano who started their home from scratch. So they weren't overtaking a business, so we helped them with their branding, their website, and we created a, a complete online marketing strategy for them that included local SEO, uh, traditional SEO, social media, uh, Google AdWords, so the, the whole kind of deal there, and we're seeing awesome results from that. So I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Assisted Living of Draper, I'll show you that website as well. Um, they took over an existing business, so they bought a business from a company who's going on to do more assisted living. And so they, we had to put in a particular strategy on how to protect the rankings that they already had because it was from a different web domain. Okay, this is all geek speak, but I, I promise you it's important things. And if you buy a business, uh, you want to make sure you, you consider these things uh, before just uh, hurting your online rankings and, and your cost per lead. And Apple Pie Properties is a business that's just getting going, but she wanted an online presence, so we've made for her a simple kind of brochure site. So let's... Uh, let's walk through each one of those really quick so you can actually see it. Here's Adagio Gardens. Uh, this is Gene's website. You may have even toured this home. I know I did when I went through his class. It was very cool to see. So we just made a really simple brochure site here. Really clean, has the maps, um, kind of gets the, the message across of higher caregivers. Really simple, really nice. Um, 
And then I'm gonna walk through these others and come back to Adagio Senior Homes here. Here's assisted living of Draper. So they took over a, a business that was assisting living of Utah.com. We helped them build their website here. We designed this again, it's mobile friendly. Um, that's something you definitely wanna see in all of these that it's responsive and mobile friendly. That's a huge, very, very important when you're thinking about your website. Um, again, really clean. Um, you know, nicely laid out, lots of trust. And we also, they made a tremendous video um, and we kind of helped a little bit with the script and some thoughts on that. Um, but they did a great job there. Um, and then here's Apple Pie Properties, which is just getting off the ground. So again, we made a very clean website, um, gets the message there. They are in uh, Connecticut and this is a, a, you know, residential home is a totally new concept there. So we're talking about a better way to do assisted living, welcome home, and it's not an institution. So we really got to um, kind of present the message uh, into an area that, that doesn't really have this existing yet. Um, so we've got a, a brochure site in place here, um, simple navigation. The one I really want to get to here is uh, adagioseniorhomes.com. Um, so we built this website and they made a, a premium uh, home. It's really beautiful. Um, and we did, you know, we built the website again, we did the branding. Um, but the other thing we did with them was we built, um, you know, out their blog and their content strategy, their social media strategy. Um, we did a YouTube channel. We started for them. Um, let's see if we can get to the blog here. It's going a little slow, <clears throat> but, um, we created consistent content here and here's their brand new home that's opening up. Uh, really, really beautiful. They did a fantastic job with this. Um, and what I want to show you here, going back, uh, going back to this, you know, the, the big idea for us, you know, let's just go to the search was, uh, we focused in since they were a brand new website, had zero domain trust, zero domain authority. We focused in on a local SEO strategy. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you search for the most popular keyword in their area, which is assisted living San Juan Capistrano, um, certainly there are variations of that, but this is the most popular. Here's what you get on Google. So let's walk through this here. The top three results you see, if you're not familiar with Google, you see this little green box that says add right here uh, to the left of all three of them. So what are the three websites we see here? We see two competitors. So brookdale.com is down the street. So is Del Obispo Terrace. But then you see the third one is a placing agency. So how do these placing agencies get all these leads for you that you have to buy to get your residence? Well, they do their own online marketing um, and they're using Google AdWords and they, and they have an SEO strategy as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we decided was if you scroll down here, certainly we can turn on this AdWords and we did for this client. Um, but what we wanted to focus on was right here. This is um, what's called a Google snack pack. And for local businesses, Google has changed over the years where instead of uh, just showing all the organic results for national businesses, if you're a local business, they create this little map section on a Google result. And if you're on your phone, you see the same thing. Or if you're in Google Maps and you search assisted living, you see the same thing. Now, we're not in the top three yet but we weren't anywhere six months ago. We didn't even have a website. We didn't even have a brand. Um, and if I click in, I'm just gonna, if I click onto this more places, I get this page right here, which is the full maps. And what we see right here, we see two more ads, and then one, two, three, four, boom, five, Adagio San Juan. So this was the initial strategy we, we went after was, hey, look, if people are looking for a residential home, we, and you, your competitors here, it's not like Phoenix, Arizona, where there's nearly 3,000 homes. We've got about 20. So if we can get in the top 10, you're more than likely, if people are going to go search, maybe they're going to tour three or five different places, uh, we think we can get you, uh, we, we focus in on this strategy of how can you, we get you ranked on um, local SEO. So you see, here's the property on Google. Uh, we've got pictures up. We've got, you know, there's all kinds of elements you kind of have to do registering with Google My Business, getting local citations, getting all the, the NAP, it's called the name, address, and phone number just right on all these different websites. So Google starts to gain trust about who you are. Well, this we landed on this first. We were really we were successful for it. And so people can see your address, people can see your phone number, people can see you on the map. Hey, right across the street from Brookdale. Isn't that great? And H right down the street from Atria. So, hey, if they're going to tour Brookdale and Atria, why not pop into Adagio San Juan? 
So we were very, very excited about this. And then just recently, and we've, we've kind of seen growth here. We were on uh, kind of page six, then page five, then page four. And just recently, I'm so pumped to see this. If I scroll down here, so we've got the, <clears throat> just to review, we've got the ads. So these are paid, this is pay-per-click. You pay to get here and you can turn this switch on and off. And we were using this strategy for a little bit. You've got local SEO results on Google Maps, and then you've got your traditional search engine optimization results. And if you look here, we see Atria, we see Brookdale, we see Delabies Boteros, and boom, number four on the first page of Google, Adagio Senior Homes. So I'm so excited to see this because what this means is, um, you know, we're all this this content strategy, the social media, everything we've been doing. Google said, yep, you're a real business. We can trust you and boom, now you're on the first page of Google. So what that's meant for traffic, let me, uh, should have brought this up real quick. Let me go back to May here. Because, or let's go back to April and let's look month over month. And you can see, look at the growth that's happened here, month over month. So we didn't exist at all back in April uh, we built the website, we just were getting going, and now look at the growth in these last two months as we're starting to rank higher and higher on Google, both in the maps, on local SEO, and uh, traditional. So we're getting, we're getting visits, we're getting leads, we're getting tours, and we're gonna fill this home. Now the beautiful thing about this strategy, the beautiful thing about ranking here over time is that $5,000 a month that you're paying for a placing agent, well, you know, that starts to get a lot lower when they're calling you, when they're visiting you because you put together an online marketing strategy that works and you're ranking on the first page of Google and you're showing up when people need assisted living. I talked to one of the, um, uh, the, the managers essentially of the, of the assisted living of Draper in Utah and he said, look, this is a business that you just, when people are searching, you have to show up. And if you, as you learned in Gene's class, this happens often through an accident. There was a fall, there was a slip. People come home from the holidays, they see mom's not in good shape, and it's very sudden. And so you have to be there when people are searching. And the way you be there is, is put together an online strategy that's either working on AdWords, that's focusing on local SEO, or that's getting you on the first page of Google. So that when people use Google, which everybody does, and they're using it on their phones, your website is showing up and uh, you're the one you're the one who's getting that tour you're the one who's getting that resident and maybe even a waiting list at your property so we're really pumped to do that um, just going back here so that's a look at the case studies thanks for sticking in on this video um, you know if you want to learn more or if you're interested in maybe just getting your your toe in the water and getting your website and your branding let's talk um, you can email me directly at es Eric Stanio, es at marketplaceearth.com. And I'd love to help you out. Um, you know, we're really getting comfortable in this space and, and discovering what works and what doesn't. So until then, as Gene says, go out there, do good and do well. Thanks a lot.